Good evening and welcome to We the People. Is a journalist's first duty to chronicle a story or to help a person in need? Is a photogra photographer or cinematographer's first duty to, to rush to help somebody in a life and death situation or to capture an image that could be an indelible moment in history? This is a debate that was triggered after the shocking case of the police officer in Tamil Nadu who was left to die, bleeding to death for over 20 minutes as a convoy of ministers, bureaucrats, even police officers looked on. In that convoy were five journalists, including photographers, who used that moment to capture the apathy of the ministers. But as the country debated why this police officer was left to die, the debate soon shifted to the role of the journalists. Why didn't they help? Why didn't they do something? On the program today, we debate that as journalists and photographers and camera people try to capture apathy, do they end up becoming part of that apathy themselves? I want to start with uh, Raghu Rai, somebody who has uh, not just, uh, you know, who of course we know is one of our best known and regarded photographers in this country, but who's also been very vocal about the fact that the photographers in question are being criticized for no reason. Why do you think that, Raghu? Because when we look at the images of what happened, I mean, there was a, this policeman, his legs were hacked. He was lying on the road. The convoy called for an ambulance. It came 20 minutes later. Wouldn't a human being's first instinct have been to rush to help? As a photojournalist, as a responsible photographer in a situation, even if, if it was one of my very close relatives, and the way every, the ministers, the bureaucrats, the other people, and the police officers, they were standing far away from him my duty would be to take a picture first. Even if it was your relative? My own, somebody very close to me. Because the society, who we are, what we are doing, you know, is very essential. It has to be documented and shared. And thanks to that guy, we are all sitting so closely and debating about it. The man would have died anyway and nobody would have, could have cared. You There's know. a slightly cliched and I actually think unintelligent question that gets framed around this debate through this past week. Is a photojournalist a journalist first or a human being? But is it that black and white? I mean, the, the point is that through generations...